2010 Physics Syllabus Artist Implementation Tutorials on Cathode Ray Tubes and Televisions. They have the same internals, but they have a few differences in how they move the electrons around. This last point in the first module is to look at the electrodes and the electron guns. Um, the deflection plates and or coils, the fluorescent screen, which is the, the last bit here. The interesting thing is that there are plates in oscilloscopes. The plates are more expensive but high sensitivity. The uh, are coils and magnetic fields uh, also can move the electrons, but they're in conventional TVs, and both TVs and oscilloscopes are examples of. Uh, cathode ray tubes, but the interesting thing is that we have a special word for oscilloscopes, which is cathode ray oscilloscope, the O for the oscilloscope. So moving down, uh, moving down, we have here a interesting picture of a cathode ray tube. It looks very easy to understand. However, there are some features which are not quite correct. They have the electron emitter shown as a heating element. Yes, it is a heating element, but it's not a coil. Uh, they also show the focusing through split cylinder. The split cylinder, so you can see the electron going through it, but again, that's not correct. There's another component in here. The plates are reasonably okay, however, the motion of the electron does, uh, upward motion of the electron would occur in here if those were positive ions. You have the spot which converts uh, on the phosphorus coated screen. The phosphor has the role of converting the kinetic energy of electrons, kinetic energy of electrons to electrons. To light. So the electrons in the phosphor get excited to energy levels, high energy levels. So they go, the electrons get excited up by impact, and then they drop down again, emitting a photon. F as in the syllabus. Continuing on, so that, that diagram is interesting, but it's not, not the best. Again, we have another diagram here. It's a bit more realistic. Correct, there are two, in general, there are two discs for focusing. And a bit more realistic, they're showing the downward deflection, obviously, with plus charges up here deflects the electron to a point over here and you can see that this point is focusing out here. Now this is a bit more, it actually focuses to a point in here and then focuses out here. This is unrealistic, this is supposed to be the electron gun, again drawn for easy viewing but the electron gun is a bit more sophisticated when you look at it. So these are the basic components, the electron gun and focusing electrodes will be that section. First point, second point, and the third point of the syllabus. Here's a more realistic picture of the electron gun. I've already drawn in here from a previous attempt at this tutorial the electrodes of the filament. The filament is similar to an electric light bulb filament, a piece of um, tungsten, but it's a, a thin wire that eventually does burn out like an electrode, um, and the wire is bent to experience a point of intense electric field around this area. So this heats up. You've got the um, uh, heater power supply here, which is sitting at a separate voltage uh, to the anode. This is the anode. Of plus charges here, and 
Uh, we, you have electric field lines which travel in like this. Um, the actual direction of the field lines like that for positive charges, but the electrons whiz out. A lot of them hit here, but some whiz out, and because of the shape of this hole, they come to a focus in this region, and then you've got more, more positive charges here, which eventually shape the beam to focus as a, at a point at the very end. So what you have to do now is you have to pause your YouTube and see if you can recreate a complete diagram of a cathode ray tube. I'm going to do it now at reasonably high speed. Bear in mind this is a tablet PC so it's uh, on the exam you could do it much more easily. First thing I'm going to start off with is the filament. The anode tube, and this is general, it is called the gun section. Uh, then you have toroidal or magnetic electrostatic lenses. You have deflection plates, I'll put a plus sign here, and you have your phosphorus screen over here. I will then place this all in a vacuum tube. And start to label it. Well, I'll start to label it here. A, B, C, D. I'll have a beam going through this, being deflected beautifully upwards. C, D, E for beam. F, G, and H. I'll start typing away, labeling all the different parts. A is heated filament. B is anode. Uh, C, which is in two parts, is focus. D is deflection plate. E is beam. And we'll start off over here as F. F is spot and G is screen, phosphor screen. Spelling that right. Phosphor screen and H. Still an uh, important point is vacuum tube. Enclosure. Uh, just one simple point that is far better to um, label your diagram with letters and identify the parts. It means that when you're writing an essay with it, you can refer to the um, label letters and link it to your diagram. Thanks for listening.